Well, we're starting off kind of gloomy this Monday morning. 61 degrees here in Starkville. We've got some cloud cover over in our campus cam, helping to filter out that sunshine and making it feel a bit cooler as we start this Monday morning. So most of us in the 60s, a couple of us in the upper 50s, Louisville at 59. We're 61 in Starkville and 65 in Aberdeen. So it is comfortable to start this Monday morning. Now we'll keep the cloud cover throughout the day, upper 60s by one, and then we will get into the 70s by the afternoon and maybe some more pockets of sunshine will start to pop out and then we will continue to cool back down into those 60s by the evening time and keeping those cloud covers. Now we are going to stay dry today. We are looking at some rain chances in the next couple of days and some pretty good rain chances actually. 60 to 70 percent Tuesday and Wednesday and then that does start to taper off by the end of the week but it is going to be a relatively wet week ahead and here's why. We've got a low pressure system that is sitting right on the tip of Texas right now, bringing that rainfall into Louisiana and portions of southern Mississippi. And that's also what's bringing us that cloud cover today, helping it feel more comfortable and cooler to start this morning. So as that low pressure system starts to push northward and move more inland, bringing that rainfall to Louisiana and into central Mississippi, that rainfall is not going to make it to us quite yet in Starkville Tuesday. But as we go later into Tuesday afternoon, into early Wednesday morning, we do start to see that rain moving into our area. And maybe even Wednesday, late Wednesday morning, we may see some pockets of some heavier rainfall near Starkville, but relatively we are going to keep that rainfall pretty light throughout the day, Wednesday night. And as we go into Thursday, we may not see as much rain. We could see some sprinkles, but it's going to stay pretty dreary throughout the day on Wednesday and into Thursday, keeping that cloud cover. So rain totals, most of us down to the southwest, that's going to be the best chance we get. The higher rain chances, we're looking at over an inch in Ackerman and Louisville. For the rest of us, those rain chances really start to taper off. Starkville, three quarters of an inch, and for the rest of us, really not measurable rainfall for that's going to impact our drought conditions. Certainly will help, but it's not going to be drought busting. And actually what the good news is, is that the Climate Prediction Center is expecting that we're going to continue to see above normal conditions for rain outlook. So maybe we continue to see those rainy conditions in the eight to 14 days ahead. And hopefully that'll help our drought drought conditions in the future. But tonight we are expecting those temperatures to fall back down into the low 50s. We're going to keep that cloud cover. It is going to remain comfortable, but pretty dreary as we go tonight. Tomorrow, that's when we're going to start to see that, that pattern change as those showers start to push inland into Mississippi. We could get, get those showers by tomorrow evening. Those temperatures will get into the mid 60s and maybe we'll see some sunshine before those showers make our way to us. But today we are going to remain dry. We'll keep those showers in the forecast for the middle of the week remaining dreary, but the sunshine comes out by the weekend.